Okay. Good morning to all. Here, in the previous session, we discussed about the introduction to virtualization, and then some of the concept regarding the virtualization, objectives about the virtualization. Now we are going to know about the the characteristics of virtualization and benefits of virtualization. Here comes to the characteristics. Here the characteristics of virtualization. The one is a partitioning is a one characteristics. Isolation, encapsulation, sharing, aggregation, emulation, and portability. Partitioning in the sense dividing that means virtual machine were partitioning, separating the different different virtual machines. That is called here partitioning in this case. You are coming to the isolation. Isolation means here isolation in the sense, for example. in the database management system you have isolation isolation concept is there here uh, what is isolation if any account that means account cannot affect to the other account if any account fail it cannot affect it to the other account here any account that means in this case also the virtualization in the isolation means if any virtual machine fail that cannot affect it to the other uh, other other virtual machine that kind of concept also existed here the encapsulation combining that means in the if you come to the java programming combining code and data one type of information here also you are doing some combining information combining the different uh, missions and then sharing sharing is a um, sharing the data uh, for the different different that means here sharing means it resources you are sharing the it resources aggregation is a opposite to the sharing concept and then emulation technology virtual virtual information you are creating the virtual information and then portability portability means easy to carry bull from one place to another place that kind of facility is also available in a virtualization you are coming to the partitioning here in the virtualization many application and operating systems are supported in a single physical system by separating available resources here what is the thing here you are single physical system by separating the available resources that means you, you are having the only one physical system from this physical system you are creating the n number of virtual uh, virtual machines here here for n number of virtual machine you are separating the available resources available resources that's called here partitioning or partition that means you are separating available all it resources and then isolation what is i already explained that concept isolation because of this isolation if one virtual instance fail if any one virtual instance fail it does not affect the other virtual machines it cannot affect to the other virtual machine that is called here isolation concept here here that isolation concept atomicity durability isolation and then this different concepts are there in the database management system transaction concept here also occur that kind of concept here isolation in the operating system also uh, any other machine cannot allow the this particular concept any other that means there is a, a number of process are there after completion of one process it allows the other process that is called here isolation here coming to the encapsulation here the virtual machine can be represented as a single file is it correct or not that means you have a uh, laptop in particular laptop you are having the windows uh, windows 10 i i need a some linux operating system here i place the linux operating system by using vmware at that time that information all information in this um, all information in this laptop stored as a single file here that means the virtual machine can be represented as a, a single file that's why you can identify that means you can identify it easily based on the service it provides in essence the encapsulated process could be business service here that, that is a, a simple characteristics here 
and then sharing it. What is the sharing information? Virtualization allows you to create separate computing environment in the same host. To create a separating computing environment, a different environment, not only single computing environment, it creates the L different sharing environment. So sharing of file will be reduced. And then coming to the aggregation. The aggregation in the same, it is, it's a, that means in the virtualization concept, not only possible to share the physical resource among the several guests, but virtualization allows aggregation, which is opposite process. Here, that is, that is a, that is a aggregation. That means group of separate posts can be tied together, represent as a guest, as a single virtual host. That is a aggregation process. This is a, the, some of the different process here. And then emulation. The guest of programs are executed within an environment that is controlled by the virtualization layer. That means this type of layer you are using for virtualization layer. That means um, hypervisor. Hypervisor is used as a virtualization layer, which is a program. The virtualization layer is a, a separate program here. And then also completely different environment with respect to the host can emulate it. Emulation in the sense separate one. Instead of hardware here, we are creating the software. That means everything that software works as a hardware. Thus allowing the execution of guest operating system requires a running specific characteristics that are not present in a physical host. That is called here emula emulation process. And the first time I explained about the em emulation is here. The virtualization defined as a emulation of one or more workstation within a single physical computer. That is a sim simple information. In other words here, virtualization is the emulation of hardware within a software platform. Here, instead of using a, a hardware mobile phone, I am taking the emulation of software mobile phone. Here, everything, this software mobile phone was as a hardware. And then coming to the another important characteristic here is a portability. The portability means easy to carryable. Easy to carryable here. The concept of portability applied in different ways according to a specific virtualization consideration. Here, in case of hardware virtualization solution, how can you apply the portability here? The guest is the packed into virtual image. Here, the guest is packed into virtual image. That is, that can be safely, that means if you pack it one image, for example, uh, already in the data warehouse and data mining, Informatica, the Informatica soft, uh, software packed as an image. That means from the image, you will execute the all information that can be safely moved and executed on the top of different virtual mission. And uh, that is a simple thing here. That means in the case of hardware virtualization solution, the guest is packed into virtual image that can be safely moved and executed on the top of different virtual mission. In case of programming level virtualization, here as a implemented by the JVM or .NET runtime, the binary code represented uh, representing the application components. Here, what are the application components? For example, you are uh, adding some jar files, assemblies can run without any recompilation or any implementation of corresponding virtual mission. That is a simple information about the portability. That, that is the main important characteristic here. Why? Because the guest information packed as a virtual image. That's why easy to safely moved or executed, moved or executed on the top of uh, different virtual machine. That is important characteristic. And then coming to the next important thing in this case, in the virtualization concept, here benefits of virtualization. Here 
everyone know about the this characteristics very important characteristic you discussed it yeah so, uh, out, out of seven characteristics the portability and then different characteristics we are coming to the benefits here lot of benefits are there because of virtualization nowadays it industry uses the these benefits that means they are doing virtualization and then utilizing these benefits yet the first benefit in this case here is a easier manageable manageability that means you can manage because of virtualization that means by taking virtualization concept the administrator can monitor and manage the entire group of server or workstation from a single physical machine yeah that means for the administrator it is a easy manageable that means you can monitor where is a uh, information failed which type of uh, guest operating system failed and then you can monitor and manage that means managing in the sense that means they have a failure occur you will uh, replace the uh, uh, again another virtual machine the type of concept existed here that means that is a one of the benefit of a virtualization other important benefit here is a elimination of compatibility issues uh, in the olden days uh, running a mac os linux os or windows os is a very difficult in a one particular system running the mac os linux os or windows os any one any two operating system in a single computer is very difficult because of this virtualization that means uh, because of this virtualization it is a easy process here that means it is a easy process these days using virtualization mission many different operating systems and application can run on a single physical machine without affecting one another here without affecting one another that means it is affecting the single machine that is called here one of the another that means here eliminating the um, some of the disadvantages in a past days some of the disadvantages in a past days that's a one of the important thing and coming to the fault isolation here what is the fault isolation here here any kind of fault isolation fault isolation means isolation cannot affect it to the that means any machine fail cannot affect it to the other one any kind of error within a virtual machine will not affect it any other virtual machine that is called here that means there is a fault in a one machine the fault cannot affect it to the other machine here the problems are automatically isolated that means elimination of error which can run which can be fixed and looked into by administrator that means the, the administrator can fix the these errors while all other systems and services continue as a normal operation that means if there is a one part of the system fail even though there is a one part of the system fail the entire system uh, run continue without any effect that is called here fault isolation that is that is a fault tolerance that is a fault tolerance information another important benefit here is the portability already in the characteristics you discussed about the portability easy to carryable the virtual machine data is stored in a, a separate file a file in the sense you can move from one computer to another computer easily that means it does not hardware here this means that virtual machine can be transferred from one physical machine to another physical machine without any changes to the functionality without any changes to the functionality that is a portable portability and then coming to the increased security here what about the security that means because of virtualization you will increase in the security security means any unauthorized person cannot access our data any that means if it is authorized person you you are you only person access your data but if any unauthorized person cannot access our data that is called here security the administrator can separate information and application on a single physical machine 
that means anything here executed instead of taking the five number of missions i am taking only one mission in a single physical mission into different virtual missions this prevents the uh, user to access or view what should not be able to do that means he will you some information over only in our virtual machine you cannot access the other data that means if virus gets on a physical machine if it have the physical machine will affect the entire system if virus affect the one physical machine affect the entire mission that is a increased security and then some of the other important things in this case here is a virtual machines are separate entities therefore any virus or problem will be isolated within that virtual machine and then the physical machine other virtual machine will not affected here that is a isolation and then virtualization make it easier to revert, revert back to the previous state uh, that means if anything fail that means you will roll back to the previous state that facility available in a this virtual machine here for example the entire virtual machine could be backed up manually at a regular interval or using virtual machine built in a checkpoint fail checkpoint user it can be rolled back to the previous working state previous working state that facility also available in a this virtualization concept coming to the another one here is a efficient use of resources in the um, that means uh, previously i explained about in a it organization before virtualization only 5 to 50 percentage of um, it um, hardware the efficient use of hardware in a it only 5 to 50 percentage the many virtual mission can run on a single physical mission utilizing the physical machines resources much more than if it was just running in a single service or application if for example you are having the five physical servers to provide a five different services they now only requires a single physical server this one server would be much more efficiently used and its resources could not be wasted that is a efficient that means because of virtualization you are utilizing the all efficient resources that means uh, because of virtualization you are utilizing the hardware resources up to 50 percent and then problem free testing that means one or more virtual machine can be set up as a test machine here you have a one organization the organization consists of 10 missions uh, organization consists of one physical mission and 10 virtual mission among the these uh, virtual mission you are taking the one or more, one or two virtual missions are uh, virtual missions can be set up as a test missions these can be used to test the stability of uh, certain application programs are without affecting functionality of day to day business operation that is called here problem free testing here here if you comes to the uh, sales force also there is a sandbox for testing that means they are giving sandbox to the different user that means whatever may be the operation the developer operations here the developer operation in the sense admin operations the developer operation creating the visual force pages and then like uh, developing the apex programming everything done in a sandbox from the sandbox here there after that it is a working okay then it will stored into the physical server that is a uh, existed in a sales force that means the problem free testing for testing you are taking the one or more virtual machines and then rapid development the hardware rapid development in the sense here hardware drive uh, drive of virtual machine is represented as single file is it correct or not that means everything stored into the a single file virtual machine information stored into a single file the hardware drive is a single file on a physical machine this means that hard drive can be duplicated or moved or transferred to the other other 
physical mission that means you will transfer the a single file from the one computer to another computer by using one virtual machine as a template mission its virtual hardware drive file can be used to create a new virtual machine clone the advantage of this advantage of this is that the administrator would only how to carry out a os installation once that is a one of the main benefit of the virtualization concept you are coming to the other information here reduced cost here the virtualization in place of a five systems i am using only one physical system that means you are for example the system cost well, let us assume a one or one crore or five crore one crore for uh, getting five different servers i need to invest the five crores crores of rupees but instead of investing that amount i am using only one crore only one crore one physical mission the remaining missions are virtual mission the cost reduced in the form of less physical hardware less power the cooling requirement that means you are using only one physical one physical server that means you are less power no use of power cooling requirement that means less cooling requirement and then less physical space no need to constructing the different buildings for storing this server or putting this server no need to constructing the building that's why the less space is there and then less staffing requirement no need to recruiting the n number of staff for maintenance here that is called here reduction the reduction of cost because of virtualization the other important one here is the ability to separate applications the services and application that may conflict with one another that can be installed and run on a separate virtual machine that means what is the thing here the services and application that may conflict with the other machine can be installed and run on a separate virtual machine whatever may be the conflict that means whatever may be the problems that's you are in a separate machine because of these services the application still running on the physical machine um, and resource and processing powers are not wasted the physical the hardware requirement the hardware utilization not wasted is it clear and then easier manageability and improved uptime very important concept in here is a manageability easier manageable virtualization here one physical machine is there a number of virtual machines are there and administrator easy to monitor and manage these services the virtual machine virtualization makes the administering and managing the it environment much easier less physical machines means that administrator can have a less hardware cost or less hardware issues to deal with that means always he will deal the less number of hardware faults as well as the less number of issues no issue is there but that means uh, that administrator is easy to manage easy to monitor all it resources that is a one of the advantages benefit of this one and then easy maintenance one of the another important uh, benefit here is a maintaining backing up restoring virtualized environment is a much easier than the physical one is it clear or not why because the virtualization mission information stored into a, a single file restoring the file in the same it is a easier than the entire hardware that means if you are if there are problems on a one physical machine an administrator can easily copy over the entire virtual machine to another physical machine that is a another advantages in this case here not only these benefits here you have a some of the benefits are there here it is a more fix, fix, flexible and efficient allocation of resources you can because of virtualization you can easily and flexible and efficient allocation of resources 
and enhance the development product productivity you can develop the productivity that means you can increase the productivity and the because of this virtualization it it, it lowers the cost of it infrastructure already you discussed the concept here that means the cost of it infrastructure remote access and the rapid scalability the remote access that means from one place you can access the entire virtual machine and then rapid scalability the scalability means if you want to extend your business you can scalable to five virtual machine to 10 virtual machine that is called here scalability high availability and disaster recovery there is a disaster information is there that means you can recover from the this one pay per use of it infrastructure on demand here whatever may you pay that means you will pay for only whatever it infrastructure you are using and then enables the running multiple operating system here these are all benefits of the virtual mission okay thank